All right, here we go, everybody. Here comes the barbell boom. My name's Ian. Thank you for joining me. For the warm-up, you're going to need a barbell with light weights on it. You're going to need a couple of light hand plates. Good to go. Let's do it. Okay, bend your knees. Pick the bar up with an overhand grip. Heels only hip bones. Toes slightly out. Gripping the bar just outside the thighs. Joy belly in, brace your abs, lift your chest, take your shoulder blades Around up, back down, go, slightly in towards the spine. Deadlift, super slow, Around far to the knees. Go, and slowly rise back up. And again. Alright, single dead row. Knees, belly, knees, Rise, knees, belly, knees, and rise. Elbows tucked in the side of the body. Keep your chest up and shoulders back. Triple row. Three, two, one. Stand up and do it again. All right, deadlift, super slow, bar to the knee. Okay, upright row, two and two. Just lower chest and back down. Just take your elbows high and wide. Just keep the bar nice and close to the front of your body. Now it's a slow, clean and press. Bar comes up. Get under, drive it up. Sink back under. Elbows over, reset. So the elbows lead, flip the elbows under. Drive it up. Speed it up, single time. Drop, drive, drop, reset. Brace, drive, brace, reset. Two more of these. Last one. Stop. All right, let's do some squats. Part of the meaty part of the upper back. Feet just outside your hips. Toes out. Squat slow. Two and two. Down, down, up, and up. Two, one, one, and two. All right, let's lunge. Left leg back, single lunge. It's a long stride back. Feet hip width apart, back heel off the ground. Two, last one, swap sides. You're just driving through the front heel on the lunge. Okay, four more of these. We step the back foot wide for more squats. Here we go. Step wide, single squats. So heels wide now. Toes out. Just send your hips back a little bit deeper. Okay, last one. Stop. Lose the bar. Grab a couple of light hand plates. Elbows to 90 degrees. Chest up. Right shoulders. Side raise. Slow. And slowly back down. Two and two. Up. Up. Down. And down. Slow rotate raise. Raise, rotate, close, and down. Keep the elbows slightly in front of your body still. Speed it up, sing it tight. Raise, rotate, close, and down. The plate staying slightly in front of your head. Okay, 
Okay, rotator with seven overhead press. Raise, rotate, press for seven. Six. All right, three, two, last one. Bring your plates down. Big roll of your shoulders. Boom. We are warm. We are good to go. Let's get into the workout. Okay. We're going to work the legs. We're going to do some squats. You're going to need a bar. If you're experienced at this type of resistance training, you want to load anywhere up to three to four times your warm-up weight on the bar. If you're new to this type of resistance training, maybe just look at doubling your warm-up weight. Let's get that happening. So we're going to start in mid-stance. We're going to be hitting the quads for the start of the track. We're going to move wide. We're going to move wider on the stance. The wider we go of the stance, deeper the work goes into the glutes. Deeper it goes into your backside, basically. Okay, let's go. Bend your knees. Put the bar up with an over... Well, put the bar on the meaty part of the upper back. There you go. All right, let's get the mid-stance set up. So heels just outside hips, toes slightly out to engage glutes, brace your belly, lift your chest, super slow, down for four, three, two, one, up for four, three, two, and one. All right, three down, one up, three, two, one, up, hips back, 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 jive forward, hips back on the way down, jive forward on the way up, round one, here we go, two and two, down, down, up and up, All right, so mid stance, your heels are only just outside your hip width, your toes are slightly turned out to engage your glutes, you're sitting your hips back, your knees just come out in line with the second and third toes of each foot. And you are driving down through the quads and down through the heels. Here we go. Single time. Down, up, down and up. Sitting the hips back. Bracing the core at the bottom. Drive down out of your core through your quads, down through your heels. We've got six more of these. Then we're taking that left heel and toes out in wide stance. Straighten around two. So last one. Stop, heel out, toes out, chest up, two and two, down, down, up, up. All right, straighten around two. Straighten the wide stance. Pushing the work back into the glutes now. Take it down and hold. Down, hold it. Slowly drive it up. Hips back, brace the core, squeeze down through your glutes. Sit it in your glutes, squeeze through your glutes. Two bottom halves, down, halfway. Down, rise. Down, halfway, down, rise. One more like this. Single time, drop it. So the full range movement on the singles, the faster movement of the body, gives the kick to the heart rate, you're pumping blood through the body. Four bottom halves, down and halfway, down and halfway, down and halfway, down, drive it up, go again, down and halfway, down and halfway. All right, back to the singles, drop it. 15 seconds through the break. Four, three, two, last one, stop, shake it out. All right, take your other heel out, toes out, wider stance, chest up, slow. Two and two, down, down, up, up. All right, round three of three. And this is where we build the strength. Pushing through the fatigue at the end of the track. Take it down and hold. 
down, hold it. Slowly bring it up. Hips back, hold, squeeze through your glutes. Two bottom halves, down, halfway. Down, drive. Heels are driving down into the ground. Singles, drop it. All right, 75 seconds left to go on the track. These reps now, the really hard ones at the end are the ones that are building the most strength. Four bottom halves, down and halfway, down and halfway, down and halfway, down, drive it up, go again. The sweat by now, single time, go. 45 seconds to the end of the track. Four more of these, the slow all the way home. Slow, slow it down, slow. 30 seconds, slowly squeeze it down. Three more. Two more, stay in it, stay in the tension. Let them burn, let them burn, that's what's building the strength. Last one. And slowly squeeze back up. Boom, done, nice work. Carefully bend your knees, lose your bar, take a quick jog on the spot, pick up one foot, bring your heel to your backside, knees together, hips forward for a quad stretch, and the other side, shake it out, done. All right, the chest strap, what do you need? You need a bar, you want to take off somewhere between a third to a half of the weight off of your bar. So let's get that happening. Take off somewhere between a third to a half of the weight off of your bar. Get your bench good to go. Okay. We've also got push-ups behind the bench, so if you're gonna to wanna to grab a mat for your push-ups, do that now. So bar off the end of your bench. And let's do it. Let's work the chest. Okay. Grab your bar on your back. Let's go. Bar above the shoulders. Wide grip on the bar, so your hands are well outside, shoulder width apart. The bar comes down, super slow, slowly down. And slowly drive it back up. And again. All right, straight into it. Single time, here we go. Down and up, down and up. So wide grip on the bar. The bar is directly above the line of the shoulders at the top of the move. Do you bring the bar down to mid chest at the bottom of the move? So mid chest at the bottom, drive it above the shoulders at the top. You got a slight angle in the trajectory of the bar. Two down, two up. Down, down, up, up. Mid chest at the bottom. Above the shoulders at the top. Brace the core, keep the lower back nice and close to the top of the bench. Three down, one up. Three, two, one. Uh, keep your elbows directly under the line of the bar. Keep your elbows directly under the line of your wrists. 
bench. Make sure your elbows do not drop below the top of the bench. You want to protect your shoulders. So the bar stops one or two fist distances from your chest at the bottom of the move. And then, single time. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Brace your abs to stabilize from the core. Open your chest on the way down. Squeeze the power through your chest to drive the bar back up. Make sure your backside and your head are comfortably resting on the bench. We've got 30 seconds till the break. Bottom half pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Again, seven, five, three, two, one, up. Two more sets, seven, three, two, one, one more set to the break. Three, Two, one, stop. Set up, lose your bar. Great shoulders. Aim your chest up on one side. Hello. Aim your chest on the other side. All right, grab the bar. Bar above the shoulders, wide grip. Bar comes down, super slow. Slowly down. And slowly squeeze the chest on the way back up. Two and two, down, down, up, up. You should really be able to feel the tension across the chest by now. The tension is what is building the strength. So when you find that tension, don't pull back from it, you want to embrace it. That's what gets you the results when you work out. Three down, one up. Three, two, one, up. Check the lower back. Is it nice and close to the top of the bench? If it's not, you want to brace the core. Just bring that back, lower back, close to the bench. Two more. All right, stop. We are done with the bar. Come behind your bench. Hands wide, fingers forward. Push-ups, two and two. Down, down, up, and up. So your hands wide, your fingers are facing directly forward. Your chest comes down at elbow height. And if that's too much, just bring your knees in towards your chest like this. 30 seconds left in the track. Single time. Go. Down and up. Down and up. If that's not enough, get up. Charge you on your toes. 15 seconds left. Bottom half pulses. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. One more set to the end. Seven. Five. Three, two, one. We are done. Pull your hips back on your heels and stretch that sucker out. All right. Now kneeling or standing, open up your chest, row shoulders back, get a stretch in your chest, get it in your arms, shake the tension out. Boom. Done. All right. Next track, the back track. What do you need? You need a bar. You either want to have it exactly the same weight as what you've just had on, or again, if you're a regular to this type of resistance training, you may wish to whack just a little bit of extra weight on each end of your bar. So let's get that happening. Bar with exactly the same weight as what you've just had, or a tiny little bit extra, you're also gonna need a spare medium to heavy hand plate, or a couple of hand plates if you're gonna to wanna to stack them. So bar, medium to heavy hand plate for front plate squats and squat presses. And grab a bit of water and then we'll go. All 
All right, so plate's handy. Bar ready. Let's do it. All right, bend your knees, pick the bar with an overhand grip. Let's go. All right, heels on your hips. Toes slightly out. Grip the bar just outside your thighs. Draw your belly, embrace your abs, lift your chest, big roll your shoulders. Deadlift, super slow, bar to the knees. And slowly rise back up. And again. All right, single dead row. Knees, belly, knees, rise. Knees, belly, knees, and rise. Deadlift, two and two, knees, and rise. All right, so just tip from the hip. Let your knees bend. Keep your chest up. Keep your shoulders back and just let the bar run down the top of your knees. Three and one. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, and up. All right, here we go. Single dead row. Knees, belly, knees, rise. Knees, belly, knees, and rise. Elbows tucked in the side of the body. Triple row. Three, two, one. Stand up, go again. All right, we are going overhead. Clay to press, here we go. Drop. Drive, drop, go again. One more. The triple power press. Three overhead. Go. Three, two, one. Reset. Go again. Okay, reset and stop. Break time. Bend your knees. Lose your back. Brace your torso. All right, let's do it all over again. Bend the knees. Pick the bar with an overhand grip. Heels out of your hips. Toes out, chest up. Row your shoulders. Deadlift. Two, two. Down. And up. Just feel the bar. All the way down and up the front of your legs. You've got no distance between the bar and your body at all. Keep your heels driving down in the ground. Feel your hamstrings on the way down. Squeeze back up through the glutes. Three and one. Three, two, one, up. Here we go. Single dead row. So the dead row is about the upper back. Right there. You want to squeeze between your shoulder blades. Right there to pull out the bar with your upper back. Triple row. Three. Two. One. Stand up. Go again. Clean and press. We're going overhead. Brace. Drive. Brace. Reset. Catch with your hips. Drive. Hips, reset. One more. The triple power press. Three overhead. Do it. Three. Two. One. Reset. Back up again. All right, reset. Break time. Bend your knees. Lose your back. Shake it out. Release your torso. Let it go. Grab your plates. Heels on your hips, toes out. Chest up. Sink slow. All right. 
30 seconds of power to the end. Squat press, go. To every rep. Set your hips back. Brace your core on the bottom. Drive down through the heels. 15 seconds. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Four. Done. Nice work. Lose your plates. Take a moment to release your lower back. Heels on your hips. Elbows down in your thighs. Just lifting your back up a little bit towards the ceiling. Catching your breath. Then stand up tall. Cross your arms, clasp your hands, chin down the chest. Release your upper back. All right, let it go. Nice work. All right, one more working track, the core track. What do you need? Not much. A mat if you've got one. Some space on the floor if you've got some of that. And your own body. Let's go. Right, let's do it. So on your back. Feet nice and close to your backside. Let's go. Fingers lightly in your temples, elbows and shoulders back. Crunch. Two and two. Up, up, back and back. So your feet are nice and close to your backside. Your fingers are just lightly on your temples. Your elbows and shoulders are back. One more. The weight at the bottom. Weight. Side oblique twist. Up. Twist. Forward. Back. Other side. Up. Twist. Forward. And back. One more. Stop. All right. Head down. Hands by hips. Knees up above hips, single extensions, two and two, out, out, back, and back. So head down on the ground, hands by hips. Your knees are at 90 degrees and directly above the hips at the start and finish of each extension. Straighten your leg, point your toes, pull the leg back. Speed it up, single time. Out and back, other side. Out and back. So you're just pointing your leg, pointing your toes, using the core to pull your leg back. Brace through your core, keep your lower back nice and close to the floor. Four, three, two. Last one, and stop, and feet down. All right, more crunches. Fingers on temples, elbows and shoulders back. Two, two, up, up, back, and back. So your whole focus with the crunch is to slide your lower rib cage close to your hips as you can get it. Back to those side oblique twists. Up, twist, forward, back. Other side, up, twist, forward, and back. Just twist through the core. Keep the shoulder back, twist, through the core to bring the opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee. All right, 45 seconds left to go. Knees up, cross, crawl. Right, left, right, left. If that's too much, just tap your toes down to the ground like that. Otherwise, 
30 seconds and we're done. Uh, 15 seconds, this is it. Knees above your hips, reach for your toes, pulse it out, pulse it, pulse it. 10 seconds and we will be done. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Bob, done. Push your feet out, push your hands out as far away from your body as you can. Let's have a stretch. Uh, feet nice and close to your backside. Take one leg up to the ceiling. Clasp your hands. Just gently pull the leg towards the chest. Get a release through the hamstring. So that foot down. Bring the other one up. Same deal on the other side. And gently bring it up. So one knee forward at 90 degrees, one knee back at 90 degrees. Chest and shoulders square, stretching the outside of the hip. And then torso forward, get stretched deeper into the outside of the hip. Up on your back knee. So knee down at 90 degrees, knee up at 90 degrees. Same arms and legs down, nice and high in the sky. Lean into your hip flexor. And then deeper down the front. Deep it down the side. Do it all on the other side. So the other knee's forward, the other knee's back, chest and shoulders are square. And then you bring your torso forward, get it deeper on the outside of the hip. Up on your other knee, so knee down. Now. Yeah. Same arms and legs down, nice and high in the sky. Deep it down the front, deep it down the side. All right, carefully up on your feet. Just let it go. We'll release the lower back. So heels on your hips, elbows down into your thighs. Just lifting your back up a little bit towards the ceiling. And standing up tall, cross your arms, clasp your hands, chin down the chest. Take one arm across your body for shoulder stretch. The other arm across your body for shoulder stretch. Pick up one foot, bring your heel to your backside, knees together and hips forward for a quad stretch. Swap sides on that. Take that leg in behind your other leg, same arms back leg, up and over, push your pad a bit. Swap legs on that, swap arms on that, push your other hip out a bit. Okay, take your feet wide, release your torso, shake the tension out, clasp your hands, push them up to the sky. Open up your chest, and if you made it this far through the workout, guys, absolutely awesome work, well done. Well, thanks for joining me. This has been Barbell Boom Volume 1. My name is Ian. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, stay in touch because I've got plenty more coming up. Thank you so much for joining me for Barbell Boom Volume 1, and I will see you very soon for Barbell Boom Volume 2. Thanks very much. Have a good one.